Wow. I don't see a single pixel. It's too clever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Yes! So this is Chaos going all crazy on trying out the Pimax 8K headset for the very first time. And I'm really happy that there's no like blushing tracking in the wife at the moment because my face is like deep red now. Because this is like kind of embarrassing how wild I just went there. But I guess this is what happens if you tell a gamer to check something out. And also, it's a proof for the great quality of that headset. Because like the peripheral vision is just awesome. There is no more, you know, following the sweet spot with your head as you do when you're wearing the Vive to find some stuff. But you can just like see the fruits, I've played ninja fruits, uh, coming up like in the corner of your eyes and smash them over. And so I guess like in the future we don't have any fencing tournaments anymore in real life, but we're gonna have them all in VR. And also like the re resolution is just awesome. It's like uh, I, I, I tried to find pixels and the nearest I got is like if I really concentrated I could maybe make out some bomber jacket like texture uh, as a layover in front of my eyes. So let's bring in a picture of me trying to find one single pixel. I can tell you it was really difficult as it was to find like the framing of the views. So I really had to do some good eye acrobatics in order to see the edges of the screen. And I was amazed that there was like no narrowing effect uh, like the Vive or the Oculus come up with. Uh, you always feel like you wear this really narrow black diving mask. So nothing here with the Pimax 8K headset. and. I also couldn't make out any distortion at the edges, nor legs, but I have to confess that I was really carried away with like the very immersive experience that headset gave me. Also, I can say that uh, uh, the Pimax 8K is as comfortable and as bright as the wife, so no, I was really afraid so maybe this thing is going to be really heavy but if you're used to the wife um, it's totally fine so they really deserve the record they established on Kickstarter they asked for like 200,000 and at the moment they're like way over 3 million so it's a better job than Oculus they've done there so I can advise everybody Watch out for the amazing 8K headset by Pimax. So, while I add this to our nice picture gallery, I also want to tell the lady who organized um, the Pimax showcase a big thank you. Like, in my very first time at a convention, I was able like to put down a number and come back hours later uh, when my number was being called instead of having to wait uh, in line and waste like precious convention time on yeah, standing in line. So thank you very much also to Pimax for the wonderful organization of that showcase. Yeah, it's hard to live up to 4K per eye but I found something neat which almost did the trick and which I always also want to show to you. So here we have another wonderful picture of me checking out the Windows Acer Mixed Reality headset. And yeah, that's 
eerie smile I have there is not on the account of like Amsterdam smokable delicatesses, but uh, it's due to this headset being like super comfortable. It's like super light with 440 grams. So uh, if you are used to like the Rift, the Rift or the Vive, then uh, you feel as if you're floating in the air wearing that headset. And also it's uh, very crisp. It has like a 1440 by 1440 pixels. So that's 1.5 times the resolution of the Oculus or the Vive. And uh, that does make a difference when looking around. Also, you can like pop up that screen if you need to look around in your real world. So that's very comfortable too. It works with inside out tracking. So it has some cameras here which orientate themselves inside the room. So no need to put on any um, lighthouses or receiving stations or whatsoever. And it comes with its own controllers, which look pretty neat. And it's really easy to set up also. So this is probably the best rec recommendation one can give somebody if uh, one wants to bring in people into VR and they're complaining like, oh, I get a headache, this is all too heavy, and so complicated to set up. So my suggestion is go for the wonderful um, Windows Acer headset. And yeah, next thing I want to show you was a really neat experience tool. Let me get that in the screen. In this picture, we don't see a lot happening yet. Like me wearing a wife isn't big news at a VR event. But what was really intriguing, what happened? inside the wife. Let me, where, where do we put it? Here. So inside the wife, there happened the to be eye tracking. It's like a device which tracks the movements of your eyes. And I played this demo, which was like a drone shooting game. So I could lock the targets, which were like attacking enemy, alien, drones, whatsoever. I could lock them as targets by using my own eyes. So if I looked at them, they'd be circled in red, and then I could trigger some lightning balls to smash them. And that was such an intuitive game feeling. So I think this is going to change the future of shooting games, not only in VR, but also in, in 2D, wh which they also do. But this was not the only thing which, like, really got me about this eye tracking experience, the passive way of uh, doing it, but also the active way is pretty important to me. So I'm gonna show you a video what I saw, or rather how I looked like when doing the eye tracking within VR. Well, at first glance, this doesn't seem to make any difference. Like, uh, I'm basically doing with the 2 eye tracking the same what my avatar does now, looking interestedly at the viewer and blinking with my eyes. But if you look closer at it, it does make all the difference. So when I was first involved here in High Fidelity I encountered a strange experience. Like I was telling a new found friend half my life story and I was really so deeply touched how he was looking into my eyes and really following of what all I have to tell him. And then after half an hour of me giving away all my secrets, he suddenly moved and was like, Hey, I'm back. I've been AFK. So, yeah, that was uh, a bit irritating. And that was due to the fact that this 
eye animation is now actually an animation. It's not my own eyes blinking here, but the high fidelity code doing a good job. And also I found the story the other way around. Like I caught myself blinking at people and smiling at people and doing kinds of stuff with my eyes to get their attention. And then I remembered like, okay, yeah, there's no eye tracking yet. So I'm really looking forward to have this eye tracking inside the HMD so that I can communicate with my eyes as well and understand the others too, if they'll look at me or if they look away bored. But I hope they look at me. So this is something to look forward to, as is this device. I've been super happy with my Vive controllers, but I'm not anymore since my hands have been embraced by the sense love. You wear it as a kind of exoskeleton and those levers are pulling back your fingers and thus giving you force feedback and it's amazing how you can really feel the different hardness or softness of the materials they uh, emulate and it also works both ways so it also tracks your fingers giving you the possibility to do like the peace sign for real within we are and the most amazing demo they had was the egg uh, squashing so i could uh, like pre first take an egg with my hands using my fingers and then press it together and it would be hard, 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 hard and then it would like splatter apart at once because these uh, levers here would hold me back, hold me back, hold me back and then suddenly be released. So this was awesome fun. How cool is that? You were like a cyborg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about tons of fun, there's one experience I just can't leave out. And this is Tower Tech by We Are Nerds Germany, one of the coolest We Are blocks around. So let's put that, was it nice? Here. There you can see the whole picture. And I really love Tower Tech. It's an arcade two persons versus two persons shooting game in which you have to like seize and hold platforms. And you do this by shooting at an obelisk standing on that platform, shooting at it really long until it's fully loaded. And then they did a great thing gaming mechanics wise, which is they made a virtue out of the necessity of teleporting. And I really love this because when like this obelisk on the platform is like fully loaded, you could pull the gun towards you and this one would pull you over to the next platform, which you then would defend also by using team speak and a round would go for like I think 10 minutes. I always lose the feeling of time when I game with NVR. And um, yeah, who holds more platforms in the end wins the game. And I was really fond of it and I'm really looking forward to play it again. So I hope um, VR nerds establish a real life uh, arcade location, hopefully soon in Hamburg. And I think uh, these real life arcade locations uh, do such a great job when it comes to mass adoption because it's yeah not very effective having like friends over one by one setting like the wife up on their head and showing them the lab, a uh, job simulator, reading a book during they do that because you can't uh, go into your computer. And so 
these real life arcades which usually like also have like a nice lounge bar and music and some singles players slots and hopefully also some like this one neat uh, multiplayer slots can like really pick up people in their real life esports uh, enthusiasms. So I also like the fact that this um, tower tech was like an easy to understand game which people already know from doing esports. So thank you very much, we are nerds and your project Tower Tech for doing such a great job for like bringing we are to lots and lots and lots of people. Yeah, I just can't stop clapping, not only for Tower Tech, but also for the most exciting experience of the whole VR Days Amsterdam. So it started with rumors on the first evening. They uh, were going like, oh, are you gonna try the Dolphins experience? And I was like, what Dolphins experience? Somebody had to come up with Dolphins and we are, so what's the big news about that? And they were like, yeah, you can swim with Dolphins in actual water. And I was like, yeah, so you go with your feet into the water. No, real water, whole body. And I still didn't believe it. And then the next day I strolled across the exhibition and then suddenly I had like this burner moment. I saw their booth and I was like, do they really mean that? I have to try it. And this is what it looks like, me really swimming with dolphins in VR. Yeah, the dolphin experience was as exciting as it was relaxing. So it was really exciting at first because I swam around, I tried to dive, I swallowed like tons of water, but the more I let loose and relaxed, and try to breathe slowly, just concentrating on keeping that snorkel outside the water, the more I could enjoy the experience and really feel like the real thing, swimming with dolphins. And I really can imagine like uh, Mareike, the creator of that experience suggested that this can be of really good use for medical applications. Like imagine people going into heart surgery, being all anxious and excited. And if you put them into such a tank and give them some incentive to relax and breathe slowly, I think this would really be an awesome preparation for such an event in life. And yeah, I was really super excited about this event and that's why I also want to show you one more picture of the headset. Although I have to confess that I was just so excited that I didn't really care to ask what phone it was. So I guess it was a Samsung. But what I'm really sure of that Ten years from now, when the world is going to be full of VR and Amsterdam is going to be blasted with VR days, people are still going to remember 2017 and are going to go like, wasn't that that year when we were all swimming with dolphins? So thank you very much, Mareike, for that wonderful experience. And there are some other people I'd like to thank too. Thank you so much, Philip, for being such a cool guy and explaining the most complicated stuff so easily and graspable that even a noob like me can get it. And thank you for putting the Metaverse into existence, by the way. Also, thank you, toys and family, especially Stefan, for keeping me company at that exciting exhibition. Thank you, Sarah of XMG, for being such a nice female friend and for helping me order my very first Uber in the middle of the night. Thank you, Ulf, 
at, for a very great time at the middle of the week party. Thank you, Robert and Skip, for making the closing party a blast. And thank you so much, We Are Days Amsterdam, for a mind-blowing experience and the time of my life. And last not least, thank you all guys for watching. I hope you liked it. It's KSVR Log. Wonderful stories from We Are on We Are. And I hope to see you soon. I'll be back. We are